President Muhammad Buhari has advocated for a rapid enactment of the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS Action Plan against terrorism and other crimes in the region. The President addressing the 62nd Ordinary Session of ECOWAS Authority of Heads of State and Government in Abuja emphatically called for discharge of collective, innovative and creative abilities to mitigate multiple security challenges in the region. Diplomatic correspondent Joy Annie Tesos Moore. The event started with the groundbreaking ceremony of the new ECOWAS headquarters, expected to house all activities of the ECOWAS Commission in Abuja. In unity, our heads of state will advance to fill the holes in between the bricks provided. President Mohammed Buhari called for a quick implementation of measures that would advance the vision of the Commission's founding fathers. The reforms of our organization that have commenced are executed faithfully by the new management and across all of ECO's institutions. There is no alternative to the smart organization that delivers services to our citizens. The new management must therefore work around the clock for sustainable solutions to the multiplicity of challenges that bedevil our sub-region. He also urged the new management team at the ECOWAS Commission to complete a review and harmonization of ongoing reforms aimed at strengthening the sub-regional body. President of ECOWAS, Omar Ali Torre, said his management assumed duty at a critical juncture in the community's integration efforts, while regretting rising spate of instability of governments, which has slowed down progress in parts of the region. Our second strategic object objective is to deepen regional integration through the promotion and enhancement of intra-community trade, free movement of people, and working towards a single currency by 2027. He further said he is certain that delivering shared prosperity will remain top on the new management's core values. The session was chaired by the president of Guinea-Bissau, President Umaru Sissoko Mbalo, and saw attendance of former head of state, President Goodluck Jonathan, and other government functionaries. Joy Annie, ASO Television News. In another development, ECOWAS new leadership, Omar Ali Otari, has expressed concern over continued lack of peace and security in West African region. In an unveiled communique, the new leadership resolved to establish a regional peacekeeping force to intervene in member states experiencing political instability to help restore security and constitutional order. We have also looked at the transition in the three countries in transition, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea. The leaders have decided to ensure that the transition stays on course in all three countries. There is no exception to the return to, civil, to, to democracy as agreed in the transition time frame, in the transition agreement with ECOWAS. The leaders have also... On the detention of 46 Ivorian soldiers in Mali, the leadership asked Malian authorities to release the soldiers by the end of this month or respect a more decisive measure. Also addressing peace and security in the sub-region. Climate change is one factor that has been contributing to communal tension, particularly in the Sahel area and in other areas where you have um, problems of a pasture for livestock, which leads to conflict with farmers. So climate change is a serious matter. Well, West Africa and Central Africa have over the years been known as a cool belt, but Economic Commission for West African States promises to do more to boost constitutional government in its member states.